and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PUDLE at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we are finally back. Now, I'm not going to lie, this felt horrible. The vacation was awesome. I had a great trip. You guys probably saw some stuff on Twitter. Really cool. But being gone from this for seven days felt hard. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel weird, like, recording this video. I, I had a routine of, like, I don't know, seven straight months of just waking up every day at the same time. Recording a video. Like, you know, like, it was a routine, and now it's just, like, very thrown off. Gotta get back into the groove of things, guys. Hopefully, we can get the support back. I know a lot of you guys probably shipped it off to other places for the time being. Hopefully, you guys do know I'm back. So, we'll be back on regular schedule. Back three videos a day. Getting back to the routine. Hopefully, right before the Super Bowl promo, the Series 4 update, and then NFL Honors. Should be just enough to get us back on track. Guys, the goal is still 20k subscribers by the end of February, so let's keep it going. Hope we can get it back to going. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification boys. Come join the family. Comment down below, say what's up, say hi. Let me know how you guys have been. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Guys, for our first, one of, one of our first videos back, can we get 500 likes in this video? Come on, guys, show some love. Let's get the channel booming again. The channel's going to be a little slow for the next few days because we're just getting back from a very extended break. But... If you guys can smash that like button and note again comments and show some support, <clears throat> I promise you guys, we'll be right back better than ever. So, let's get into this video, guys. We're going to go over the market. Got to check out everything that's happened since we've left. There's been some carnage. There's been brand new stuff. There's been, I, honestly, I couldn't have left at a worse time. I've never seen, like, when I'm here, flashbacks, heavyweights, veteran cards, 84 speeds. When I leave, NFL tributes, team of the year program, um... Limited time, like Bobby Wagner, uh, whatever, not even LTD, but get to the point. Bobby Wagner, legend, Demarius Thomas. Like, I left on maybe the best week of content we've had all year. It's just very, it's very, uh, just very my luck, you know? <clears throat> but let's start off with the 88s and check out what we're working with. Because I always like to use these as an indicator. Now, they do look down a little, which is weird because they look down, but other things on the market have went up. The market's in a weird state, so it hasn't crashed but it hasn't increased and it also isn't the same it's more like the things that are useful for like the sets right now have went up and the things other than that that are the things that are relevant to sets or like team of the year stuff has went down so it really depends on what side of the uh spectrum you fall on now see veterans yeah 30k so the 88s are definitely down which means the market as a whole should be down but like i said we can't exactly base it off that because of the pure fact that things are different based on the relevancy to sets so let's go over to the 1971s and check out the legends and see what we're working with guys by the way for you guys commenting about the certain videos i did last week i had to do videos while i was gone that were videos that could be posted whenever you know i couldn't do like a video going over the team of the year content because i obviously wouldn't have been home for that i had to do like a budget piece that's the overpower play. i had to do something like very very generic so sorry for that guys but i can't just let my channel die and not post anything i had to post something and those videos were kind of videos that i could post any time throughout the week at any given day and it really sucked not being home for all that I'm just letting you guys know that now anyway like i said so legends going back to 58k budget teams have been a lot easier to make by the way i definitely gonna have to make an updated one probably after nfl honors i'll probably make an updated like nice budget beast list because players getting really cheap means you can probably create a really stacked budget team at this point you can probably with, with a budget of like 60 to 70k per player you could probably get easily a whole 90 overall team obviously i mean not that it doesn't require a lot of coins as a whole but like you can easily start as your base players with 90s and stuff now instead of like 86 87s things are getting a lot better in this game as you guys can see as a whole but now let's head on over to the 92s and 93s i definitely want to go over a lot of these team of the year players i have to go check them all out myself but 92s and 93s the 92s are about to be in the 90k range like they're getting to that point they could be in the very high 90k range now these are these have always fluctuated but i don't think that's pretty much it for them Super Bowl promo, sh the only way the Super Bowl promo will change the market significantly in a, in a positive way is if they don't leave, they leave currency out of it and they make it just based on training and other things. But more than likely, I think we will be getting Super Bowl currency, which means that once that happens, a lot of these cards will become irrelevant because people will be caring more about the Super Bowl currency than they do about training and regular player values. So if they do rings, especially if they do a blitz again, a blitz with training could help, but it'd probably be a blitz with currency virtual currency such as you know mutt points or super bowl rings as one of the currencies but i don't know entirely how they're gonna do that i'm not gonna be banking on currencies this time around because last time we banked for them on a currency we saw what happened they just didn't do a blitz so we have to definitely we gotta stay a little uh so wary about that now because ea has been a little weird this year with that but a lot of these cards are super cheap 
again great value buys at this point the only guy that i still see that doesn't really lose value for quite a while has been christian okoye and it's probably because he's still one of the better fullbacks like he's one of the few guys i've seen actually hold his value throughout the year pretty consistently anywhere between he like he was only been down like 150k total not even like 100k total value in like the two months he's been out which is pretty crazy to me okay 94 75 so we're gonna start getting into some of the newer cards so these are the legends now demarius thomas at 299 now i haven't really checked any of these guys out i mean i know they're not going to be great i can already i know demarius and bobby wagner never get the speed bump so i don't really got to be too concerned about them but the legends again decent price here what i really what i'm really curious about is the first one actually i want to see the mm, ghost of present so these cards have stayed pretty similar mahomes actually went up which is really weird i did not expect mahomes to go up now it could be because people are expecting mahomes to maybe get a super bowl mvp card which is very possible remember the chiefs are now in the super bowl so uh, honestly guys not a bad not a bad investment mahomes if mahomes gets a super bowl mvp card he's going to be ridiculous he's going to have like an 88 probably like an 87 80 i don't know i say 86 speed probably like an 86 speed with like 98 throw on the run like oh it's gonna be crazy okay i'm not even gonna go into this right now but mahomes is not a bad investment considering he could potentially be great if he gets to, if okay if the chiefs win the super bowl mahomes wins the mvp it's more than likely going to be the case now the 49ers win it'll probably be like mustard uh raheem mustard um i don't remember if tevin coleman still hurt maybe kittle more than likely be like mustard one of the it'll be one of the running backs or it'll be like bosa or sherman those are gonna be like the, th the four guys you really count on so at least we know it won't be someone that like we don't want like an Ed edelman from last year at least we hope could it be garoppolo i doubt it they don't really make garoppolo throw much although in a game against the chiefs you might have to throw a lot more now i want to see some of these initial team of the year players to see what we're looking at for the 95s so they're starting around 258 for 95 overall which is not bad that's a pretty good price by the way for all you guys who made fun of me and said that treyway would not get a team of the year card that it would be brett kern well it was it was treyway i told you guys i explained team of the year is freaking weird it doesn't mean that they're the best players by stat it literally just means that madden picked them like they're not that they weren't good players but they don't always mean that they're the best players at their position so kind of weak on the 95s here i'm not a fan of most of them here i wouldn't really recommend you pick up too many of these guys not really feeling much of this year. McCall Hartman's pretty great and all, but get, there's other guys that can fill into that spot. Now, let's check out the 96s. This is where things are going to get interesting. Now, I do not want to start off with the team of the years. I want to start off with the Ghost of Madden Pass. I think I'm going to start. I think it's time to start selling some of these guys because I was looking at it. Michael Vick for 400K. I think I'm going to sell my Vick after this video for probably around, I'll put him up for like 420 ish around here. Because here's the thing Lamar Jackson is most likely getting an MVP card the next two weeks when NFL Honors drops around February 2nd. Well, I think it's February 1st, but I think we'll probably get the cards at the second. I don't know if we get them the same night. And then on top of that, we also have the Super Bowl MVP, which more than likely could be a Pat Mahomes. So there's two options for quarterbacks. So I think it's time I get rid of my Vic. I'm um, right around that time because I know Lamar's going to either break the game or Mahomes going to break the game. So I got to go with one of them. Oh, and by the way, back to the 95s real quick. In terms of Bo and all these guys, I think you can honestly start selling these guys pretty soon. I don't think they're going to retain value much longer. Now, Bo Jackson, if you can sell him for closer to 400k at night, that's a really great value. I mean, you probably got him for like 258. If you can make back 150k and then wait it out and then get a new running back in the near future. And I did, I did tell you guys, I told you that if a team of the year running back came out and it wasn't faster than Bo Jackson, he was going to go up in price. I told you that because people were pre-selling him because they thought that someone would come out better. I told you guys straight up, Bo Jackson would not be out. He would not be outed by this promo. I know how team of the year promo is. I know a Bo Jackson 96 speed that can almost get chemmed up to like a 98 at this point in the game is not going to be made worse than any other running back at this time. And I told you that. So now that he's already bought his bump, you can sell him a knife for like 400k would be a pretty pretty good idea in my opinion. But let's get back to the 96, 97s. And same thing with Vic. I don't think they're going to retain value for much longer. Now you don't sell them now. You still have a few days. I mean, Super Bowl promo doesn't start for a few days. So you still have some time on that. Now to these Nick Chubb and all these guys, decent values. Like I said, Nick Chubb was Bo, ja Bo Jackson's competition. Obviously, there's no debate here. Bo Jackson's way too fast. Some of the guys that I would recommend picking up as far as the team of the year promo goes, obviously the linemen are always a solid buy. But when it comes to skill, I really like Tredavious White, but the only issue is his jumping. You guys gotta let me know how he plays. That jumping could definitely be killer if you can't make great plays with that. And Minka Fitzpatrick, another great free safety. I don't think I'd take him over Sean Taylor though. But in terms of this, I definitely want to pick up this George Kittle. This George Kittle looks solid. Now, Tony Gonzalez is definitely better, except for the run block. But that run blocking is huge because I've definitely felt the benefit of having Kittle there. Jamal Adams is obviously big. And then Donald Donald and Russell Wilson are like the two guys in this promo that I'm like, I need. 
Now, let me know how Russell Wilson plays for all you guys who had him. Now, as far as the market goes, you guys, team of the year should come down a little bit with Super Bowl. I don't want to guarantee that, but I might wait a few more days for picking up my player for the Super Bowl promo. Get my free pack first. See how things go first, because obviously with the Super Bowl promo, they're going to release a lot of stuff. Which should be over higher overalls than this. Because last year, Team of the Year did go down a lot of the Super Bowl. But they already down a lot. Last year, 96s were like at 450k. These already are down for the year. So, like, I don't know how much more Super Bowl can bring it down. We obviously have to see. But, guys, that pretty much wraps up our little our market overview. Nice to finally go over Team of the Year. It feels good to be back home. I hope I don't have another trip for a while. Because I definitely got to get back on the grind. Guys, if you guys could show some love in this video, it would be awesome. It's been very depressing to see the channel falling off a cliff this week. Let's get it back to nor normal normal levels, guys. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that Noti Bell, boys. Come join the family. If you're here, comment Noti Gang. Let me know what's up. Let me know how your, how your week was and all was gone. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 500 likes for one of our return videos? We'd greatly appreciate it. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.